This is alligator cable. So why use alligator housing? Number one, it's quite a bit lighter weight than conventional housing. Uh, you, you'll probably save about 50% of the weight of the housing, maybe more. Number two, it's easier to keep clean and it looks cool. Uh, number three, it's more durable and so this aluminum housing will last a lot longer and will not degrade like conventional housing does. And lastly, it's easier to install. So you don't have to have a special housing cutter or struggle with wire cutters. This housing just simply pops apart using your fingers and you adjust the desired length you want and you just pop it back together. Okay. To compare the weight, let's first take this piece of traditional housing with the ferrules. It weighs in at between 17, little, maybe a little more than 17 grams for this small section. Now we can put on the alligator housing the internal plastic housing and a couple of end caps and we're at five grams just a little bit more um, that's a pretty huge difference and this piece is just for the rear derailleur so you know you can multiply this several times for uh, brake cables shifter cables across the whole bicycle so how to install it well take the piece of housing that you're removing from the bike so in this case it was this derailleur housing uh, which I think this may have been a little on the short side. Um, so I'm going to make the new housing a little bit longer. So uh, we compare the, the pieces, get it the same length. Keep in mind that this alligator housing can actually compress a tiny bit. Um, can you see that? So there's this sort of expanded length and then if you compress it together it's a bit shorter. And when it's actually installed on the bicycle, it will be compressed. So uh, keep that in mind when you're measuring. So there are two different end caps. One of them is a long hollow uh, end cap. That is, goes in the forward facing, and the other one pops into the tail. Um, and which, which end is forward? So you can see that the shape is a little bit like an arrow with kind of a pointy end. Um, and that end is toward the front. The larger end is in the back. I've got the plastic housing installed right on the cable. And now the next step is to take this ferrule end cap and put it onto the cable with the open end facing back. Now the housing goes on. and just kind of gently work that through. The cable can sometimes get a little bit stuck inside the aluminum housing because it has some rough edges. So uh, just take your time and push that through. And for the tail end, use this other little end piece and this piece has a little kind of a nipple on the front of it and that's going to pop into the back of the cable housing. So you just slip that back in. Now the end of the cable goes through the derailleur. And that's how you install alligator cable. Thanks for watching. See you next video.